All right, so this video, let's take a look at finding the domain of radical functions. All right, so let's look at the first one here. We have f of x equals the square root of 3 plus 8x. All right, so here we have a square root. Now, what do we know about the square root? Well, we know that whatever is underneath the square root cannot be negative because you can't take the square root of a negative number. So that means that 3 plus 8x has to be positive. Or we could say that 3 plus 8x has to be greater than 0. Okay, That's the same thing as saying it's positive. Now, is it okay to take the square root of 0? Yes, square root of 0 is 0. So that means the 3 plus 8x can be greater than 0 or equal to 0. Okay, And now all we do is we just solve this for x. So we'll come here and subtract 3 to both sides. And so that gives us 8x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And then we'll divide both sides by 8. And so we get x is greater than or equal to negative 3 eighths. So that means our domain is everything larger than negative 3 eighths or equal to negative 3 eighths. So that would be everything from negative 3 eighths to positive infinity. And it's important here that you put the bracket on the negative 3 eighths because the negative 3 eighths is included in the solution. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next one. We have f of x equals the cube root of 4x plus 5. All right, so what do we know about the cube root? Well, let's just look at this. Let's see, the cube root of 8 is what? 2. The cube root of 0 is 0. And the cube root of negative 8, well, what can we raise to the third power to get negative 8? Well, that's negative 2. All right, so if you notice here, it's okay if we take the cube root of a positive number. It's okay if we take the cube root of 0. And it's okay if we take the cube root of a negative number. So we can take the cube root of anything. Okay, so that means that whatever is under the cube root it can be anything it can be positive negative or zero so that means the domain would be what negative infinity to positive infinity because we can plug any number we want to in for x all right let's take a look at the third one i have f of x is equal to the fourth root of negative 6x plus 33 well, this one's going to be similar to how we did. Well, it's going to be like the one we did for square root. Okay, We can't take the fourth root of a negative number, just like we can't take the square root of a negative number. So the same thing applies. Whatever is under this fourth root has to be greater than or equal to 0, just like with the 3 plus 8x. Okay, so that means negative 6x plus 33 has to be greater than or equal to 0. And then we solve. So we subtract 33 to both sides. So that gives me negative 6x is greater than or equal to negative 33. And then I divide both sides by negative 6. Now remember, whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you have to reverse the inequality symbol. Okay, And so our domain is everything less than 33 over 6 or equal to. So our domain would be everything from negative infinity to 33 over 6 and the 33 over 6 is included so we put the bracket. Alright so let's take a look at the last one here. We have the fifth root of 9x minus 5. 
All right. Well, the fifth root of 9x minus 5, we can look at it the same way we did this cube root. Okay. Well, if you look at this, the fifth root of 32, well, what can we raise to the fifth power to get 32? Well, that's 2. The fifth root of 0 is 0. And the fifth root of negative 32 is equal to negative 2. So we can take the fifth root of a positive or negative number or 0. So that means it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative or 0 under the fifth root. So we can plug any number we want to in for x. So our domain would be negative infinity to positive infinity. And, you know, the way to look at it, you, you look at, you look at the index. That's what you want to look at, is the index. And you know when, there's, when there isn't a number here, it's understood, it's understood to be a 2 there, okay? Well, whenever the index is even, whatever's underneath the radical has to be greater than or equal to zero and whenever the index is odd then your domain can be negative infinity to positive infinity with these types of problems of course you know that would be different if you had a, a fraction like a rational function under the radical or you know or a logarithm or something like that but if it's just just a regular polynomial like this then it can be anything all right, so I hope this video's helped. Um, if you like it, you can watch my other ones, and uh, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.